Hey guys, um, I'm about to edit the vlog that you're. I'm about to edit the other vlog, the one you watched before this is the one I'm about to edit. But basically, I just want to tell you about my day. So today was a really strange day. I got um really tired. Hold on, this camera is bothering. Hold on, one moment. Today was a weird day. I was really tired at work. Why am I not tired? But I was really bored. Anyways, for lunch. I wanted Arby's. I decided I wanted Arby's. I don't, I try not to eat a lot of meat during the week, so it was like weird, and I've been doing really good with not eating meat, but I was like, nope, gotta go to Arby's. Even though other stuff looked better, I still wanted to eat at Arby's. So, um, basically, I went to Arby's, and it was like really gray. It's just weird aura, right, around the whole day. So I get there, and there's a guy there, and he works there, and he greets me, and I was like, Okay, and I never know what I want, even though I literally worked at Arby's as a teenager and I know the menu, like I can read it back to you, tell you like the specifications of each sandwich, but like, that's not the point, I don't know what I want. So he's like, jokingly, like, what is he doing? Kind of like suggesting stuff for me. I order with him, I get my food, and I'm sitting down, and this guy runs in from next door, because there's a gas station next door, and he's like, hey, you guys, get the manager, get the manager. And I thought he was like a douchebag who was like a drive through and didn't get his fries, and I was like, you need to chill, bro, in my head. Um, but I realized he was the manager of that gas station, and he's like, you guys, like, the, a pipe for gas line burst, and it's leaking everywhere, and it's coming your way. And I look outside, and there's like caution tape all around that gas station, and it's empty. And usually in these scenarios, I'm like, got a jet but I didn't leave and some people did leave they're already finishing up and there are only a few people left in the restaurant but you know I didn't have a lot of food so I was going to finish eating this because that's my chance to sit down and not be at work and eat so I did that so I was facing a window and in the window I can see I was looking out, out the window and I could see the reflection of the stuff behind me so I saw the guy who took my order behind me and he was sweeping and just being you know sweeping doing whatever he's supposed to do in the dining room and then he like fell out and I thought he tripped at first and I was like okay and then he was like seizing he was having a seizure and I recognized it he's having a seizure and people start freaking out because at first it's like you can't tell if someone's joking or not because we just think everyone's kidding all the time anyways everyone's freaking out and they're like oh no no no, oh, no, no. but it's such a shocking sight that no one did it and I called I started calling and I, I did it that was my first time calling 911 to help someone and so I called 911 and they um I gave them all the information, they gave me like the instructions to care for him until the ambulance got there. And it was pretty crazy. It was crazy. Like, it was such an adrenaline rush. I just wanted to share that with you guys because like, I was shook. Like, it was a very sobering thing. I was so tired before work and, or at work, and I was just like attitude-y. And then after that, I was like, I need to call my family. I need to talk to my family. So I called my mom, called you mom. And she was like, listening. And I called, I didn't, that's all I called. Um, I told everybody though. <laughs> but yeah, that's what happened. feel pretty good about it. Someone was like, you're awesome. And I was like, thanks. And then like the people who worked there were hugging me. And I was like, honestly, y'all need to, should have called. This is your coworker. And they're just, I mean, I understand being shocked, but like, it was wild. 